فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من أرسله الله رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Somebody asked a question um, A brother said My wife confessed to have committed zina with somebody um, Is it obligatory for me to divorce her? As we know through the Sharia, ah, any person who commits zina after they go through a, a marriage, a legal marriage, for, uh, what we know from the Sharia ah is that there is a had which the Sharia ah has set and that had is rajb. But, lakinahu, but now, a lot of the times it can't be, it can't be done. In many places in the world you can't see that hukum shar'i being fulfilled. But what matters to us here inshallah is the question, the person who put it to us, he says, I find my wife and she, we are married. She went and she committed zina and she admitted to it. Um, at this point, by her committing that zina, the person asked two questions. Do I have to divorce her? And the second one is, will the divorce happen automatically? As for the divorce happening automatically, then the answer is no, it won't. It is like shurbul khamr, sariqa. It's like her drinking khamr, her stealing. It's a, it's a ma'asiyah. La tukhrij sahibaha an da'irati islam the sin will not take her out of the fold of Islam. The only thing or one of the things or one of the sins that can break the marriage between you and her is a ridda. If she apostate or you apostate, automatically both of you are not married anymore. So what she has done is not like apostation which then happens in Fisakhul Aqd. The, the relationship between you two breaks up. That's not the case. What she has done is a major sin the divorce doesn't happen automatically, no. um, but it is recommended uh, that the man separates himself from her. If she's committed zina whilst he was married to her. The reason is because fear that she will corrupt his bed, his lifestyle, his home. وَتَلْحَقُ بِهِ وَلَدًا And that corruption will entail that she would uh, have a child from the zina she probably committed and that child may not be yours. But if the husband chooses to stay with her, as I said, it's recommended that he leaves her. But if he chooses to stay with her and he wants to remain with her, فَلَا تُوَاطِئْهَا Do not have intimacy with her until she goes through a menstrual cycle, one at least. Because the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, لا يحل لمرئ يؤمن بالله واليوم الآخر أن يسقي ماءه زرع غيره. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, it is not permissible for a person who believes in Allah and the Day of Judgment for him to water for him to water the garden of somebody else. Meaning, if she has committed with another man intimacy, this man could have planted something into in her. So you shouldn't come and after and do anything. Wait until you verify that she is clear from having children. And if you choose to want to stay with her, then you can stay with her. But as I said, yustahabbu Mufaraqatuha. It is recommended that you leave her. Wallahu a'lam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa tabi'ina lahum bi ihsanin ila yawmi deen wa sallam taslima kathira.